Hi, thanks for tuning in. I am Ambarish, a Mumbai based Microsoft certified professional, and this video is about the filter function available in Office 365 Microsoft Excel. Remember, this video is not about the filter feature, which we all have been using for quite some years now. It is about the filter function. So, first up, I don't need to worry about getting the drop down applied across the headers by clicking into the home or the data tab. I don't need to worry about control shift L or alt D F F or even the alt A T to apply or remove the filter drop downs. The filter function doesn't require drop downs, just like advanced filter. Okay. So I've been given a trainer's database here and I've been asked to filter trainers with an experience of 15 or more years. There is this experience in years column given to us as our last column, which is column E of the Excel sheet. All right, so let's see how the filter function can help us. First up, I start with an equivalent to symbol. I type F I L and there you go. The filter function is available in the drop down because I'm on the Office 365 subscription. I hit tab and I can see that there are three arguments to this filter function. First, array. Well, let's just select our given uh, data from the beginning. So control shift right, control shift down. Now, since I have already copied the headers into a different section of my sheet, I don't have to worry about the headers. So, comma. Next, it says include. This is where I will have to let Excel know about the column in which I am filtering and my criteria. So, the column will be the column of years, experience in years. So, I come to E2 and then control shift down to select the entire column. And I'm asking Excel to look for more than or equal to 15. So that's our condition. That's our criteria. Great. Let's put a comma. And the third argument is if empty. So what is it that you would like Excel to display if there, are, if there is no trainer found with an experience of 15 or more years? Well, I would like to put up a display there saying no trainer found. I'm uh, putting this within double quotation marks because it's a text. And that's it. I don't have to worry about the bracket closure, the parenthesis. I can simply hit enter and there you go. I've got only those trainers who have an experience of 15 or more years. In the original data, I had, up, I had 15 as the count of uh, rows and now the filter function has given me only six, as you can see from here, status bar. Okay, now let's see if I can make changes. I hit F2 on the very first cell, function F2 in some laptops, and maybe I can change it to 10 from 15. So enter, and there you go. I've got more number of trainers now. See, control shift down, it says nine. Well, let's also see if I can delete one of the cells here. So let's come to uh, maybe uh, Winfred and delete. You can see that Excel is doing something. It's giving itself a shiver, but it's not deleting anything from, uh, from the filtered output. Of course, you can come to the very first cell and delete, <laughs> which I will not do now. So control Z, control Z. But yeah, so this is a kind of security that you also get with the filter function. Now, the other way that I could have done this is through external cells reference, which a lot of us are already aware of. So I hit F2, function F2 maybe, and rather than equating this to uh, a number, let me simply just take a cell reference. So let me just select this M1 cell, random M1 cell. So because the M1 cell is blank right now, Excel is giving me a display of what my original data was, the way it was, right? But let me quickly go to the M1 cell and say 15 there, and there you go. I've got those six trainers back, right? I can change that 15 to 10, 
and there you go the answer changes to 9 right so you can do this with uh, the external cell as well and of course i can apply the drop down the data validation here to avoid manual typing so that's the filter function i hope you've got a basic idea of the filter function thanks for watching the video have a nice one